Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, looking at some of the lesser known tools in the program. Now, if you haven't used the Shape tool before, it's well worth exploring. A whole library of shapes available to you. And we're going to use one of those shapes and we're going to create a graphic that is the shape of that shape. In other words, it's not going to have a rectangle or a square background to it. It's going to be the shape of a heart or the shape of a star, whatever object we are using as our graphic. So it's going to be a backgroundless graphic and I'll show you how to do that. So the shape tool is located here on the toolbar about two thirds of the way down. You may well have used a line before or a circle or ellipse or a polygon. But if you go over here in the upper left to custom shape, you have this library of custom shapes. And if I click on the down arrow here where I have a heart displayed, you see you have a lot of cool objects in here, but this is just one category of the objects. If we go over here to where it says default and click on that, look at all these different categories of objects you have or shapes you have that you can use to create graphics. And these are banners in here, there are stars, there are uh, arrows, whatever you need, it's in here. And I have found a heart. I'm going to use a heart to create our graphic today. And then I'm going to select as the color red because I believe hearts should be red. We'll go over here to the file menu and create our background or create the document that we're going to draw our graphic into by going to new blank file. And right now it's set to document size, clipboard size. We're going to select film and video and HDTV because a lot of times I'm working in HDTV or HD video and I want my graphic to be the right size for it. So I click OK. There is my background. And now all I need to do is drag to create my graphic. So I'll drag across here and there is my red heart. Now you can apply things to the graphic once you create it. If you go over here to styles in the lower right hand corner, you can apply bevels to it. Uh, you can make it, for instance, look like it's made of glass, a heart of glass, there you go. Or neon or any kind of these outer glows or inner glows you'd like to apply, you can apply then to this particular shape. So we've given a little bit of three dimensional look, but we still have a background to it. We still have that white background, which came in as default. You need to have the background removed in order to make a transparent object or a transparent document or a transparent graphic. So let's go over to the layers panel by clicking on the button here in the lower right hand corner. And we'll select the background and then the trash can to delete it. Now you may get a warning or you may get a little prompt saying, do you really want to delete this background layer? You say, yes, you do. And there is our backgroundless object. Now we can save this as a PSD file by going to file, save as, and you can see it's a PSD, we'll call it heart. And that is a backgroundless PSD or Photoshop file right there. So you could use this in any Adobe program. You could use it in InDesign. You can use it in Premiere Pro, Premiere Elements. Wherever you use it, it's going to be transparent. That's not universal. That's only for Adobe products. But if you need to save it as a universal backgroundless object, the best option for you is a ping. To create a ping from this, a transparent ping, go to the File menu, select Save for Web, and select up here in the upper right hand corner ping 24 that's a full color ping and make sure that transparency is checked you can see if it's not checked you're going to get a background to it but with transparency checked we can now output a png file or a ping file and that ping will be transparent no matter what program you use it in and that's how you create graphics and that's how you create transparent backgrounds for them now if you want to know more about photoshop elements and all the cool things you can do with it i hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com if you want to know everything there is about photoshop elements check out the moviepix.com guide to adobe photoshop elements i'm steve grisetti i wrote the book and i hope to see you again real soon take care